One cosmetic procedure sounds like a dream come true for many women. As Kim Holden shows us, a local plastic surgeon says it's revolutionized the area of breast augmentation. It's a procedure that can add to an implant or be an alternative in cases where an implant isn't necessary. Either way, women can increase their breast size while taking fat away from other areas like their tummy and thighs. 45-year-old Stacy Campo was 60 pounds heavier than she wanted to be. But when she lost all the weight, her self-esteem dropped too, partly because of her breast size. Wasn't feeling good about myself. It was just miserable. I hated getting dressed, put a shirt, and I'm like, God, I feel like a 10-year-old kid. This is ridiculous. Nobody should feel like this. She decided on breast implants, but didn't want them to look fake. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought I just wanted to look normal and not to be so obvious. Dr. Cameron Kubehi offered Campo what he calls the best of both worlds, a natural, bigger look, while at the same time making another area of her body look smaller. He says she was the perfect candidate for what was once a controversial procedure. Patient that is more interested in quality. Patient is not focused on the size alone. The patient wants to have natural look to it and natural feel to it. And also have some area to donate the fat uh, to be harvested from. He proposed using implants, but also adding her own fat to the breast area for a softer, more tapered and natural look. Dr. Kubehi calls it cleavage therapy. Take the fat from the own body, from area they don't want it, and use it for cleavage and building of the soft tissue to camouflage it. One thing is that uh, interesting is that half the flatness is, but then there's a continuation. There is no chest and implant coming. That's very common things people fear about is that very distinct implant. The implant is kind of very obvious that you have an implant done. But doing this tapering, a little bit more natural look. It's basically a surgical fat transfer. Instead of the traditional high-pressure liposuction, doctors use low-pressure lipo to gently remove the fat from areas like the abdomen, love handles, and thighs. Then after it's been harvested, they inject it into the breast area. It's quick, there's no chance of an allergic reaction, and only a small incision is needed. When you discuss with the patient, it makes sense to them. Um, because uh, it's okay, I have this area that I want to get rid of. What is the best thing? You just put it on the area that I want it the most. In the 1990s, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons warned against the procedure for fear that mammograms would be misread if injected fat calcified. The group reversed its position in 2009, calling it a safe method of breast augmentation. I got exactly what I asked for because it is, you, you really can't tell that I have implants. Campo's fat was transferred from her thighs and abdomen, and she says she couldn't be more pleased with the results. I have actually have softness. It's, it's, it's cleavage, it's soft, it's feminine. She went from a 32 AA to a 32 C and says it's changed her whole outlook on life. I mean, really, now it's, it's totally different because I can put clothes on and they fit. I can put a bathing suit on and I'll feel like I'm 10. Now, the procedure isn't for everyone. A woman has to have enough fat in other places to actually transfer. And because it is fat, it fluctuates with weight gain and weight loss.